Okay, eye contact. So I know it's hard, obviously, in a room full of people, but there can be maybe four people. Maybe it could be the hot guy in the front row or somebody that you're comfortable with staring at, but it kind of connects you with the person, right? They get excited. They're like, oh my God, they're talking to me. You know, I'm feeling it right here in the front row. It's really, it goes a long way. It really does. I'm like, I'm excited. Let's go have coffee tomorrow afternoon. Sounds good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're asking these people to fork up a lot of money. So it's so important that you have, even if it's, I mean, it's a little nerve wracking when you get that contact. You're like, oh my God, he's staring at me. I'm like starting to sweat a little bit, <laughs> but it does go a long way because it really kind of connects you with somebody. Um, I know for us where we were standing, you're up there and you have, you know, a couple rows of people in the front and I kind of just scanned it. I kind of made sure that I was looking at everybody, even if it was for a few seconds, because that really lets people know that, you know, you want to talk to them personally because it's difficult in a room with a lot of people. But the second you make that connection, even if it's for two seconds or three minutes like we just had, um, it does go a long way. So I have to say eye contact is huge. Okay, and breathe. I often forget to do this. Um, you can, you know, I talk fast, and especially when you're a little bit nervous, but even before, because everybody is standing over here before you have to go on. Did you guys learn breathing techniques with Gina? Yeah, I know we, we did. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's huge, is because you're going to be so nervous, and there's so much adrenaline and so much excitement, but taking those like three to four seconds before you're about to go out and literally just breathing. It goes so far. And being articulate, kind of talking slow, it really does help, kind of lets you focus a little bit better. You don't get so cloudy with, with what you're trying to say. Um, breathing is extremely important from the beginning to the end. Also, you want to visualize yourself giving the presentation. You want to visualize yourself nailing the presentation, you're visualizing the audience standing up and giving you a standing ovation. That's what you want to visualize. By the end of you rehearsing and rehearsing, you want to be so comfortable that you can actually see yourself finishing your speech, finishing your pitch, getting ready to walk off the stage, and that's going to give you that extra confidence that you need, is picturing yourself doing an amazing job, nailing it. I mean, what's great is you have, what, 70 friends here that are your biggest fans? I know we had a much smaller class, but everybody was so excited for us. We felt so proud to watch everybody get up there, deliver their presentation, and it was a roar of people in the back that were just like, yes! And that was like the coolest experience because for what it's worth, we could have bombed it. We knew we already had like 30 people in the back that were gonna cheer for us no matter whether we fell on our face or whether we nailed it. And that was great. So visualizing yourself like on stage, nailing your presentation, it goes a long way. I have to share a quick story. We had um, the first, did you guys have to pitch your ideas at the beginning? very briefly yeah no yeah okay so in our class we had this guy named Luciano and he had this awesome technology where he wanted to create a shirt that if you sweat or if you spill it runs off kind of like a duck so the first day he was from Brazil and he comes up on stage and he was so nervous to pitch his idea that he actually had to, he talked to us like this he's a hi I'm Luciano <sighs> sorry guys <sighs> And we felt so bad. We felt so bad for him because we were like, oh man, this kid's got the coolest technology, but he can't even turn around and have a conversation with us. By the end of the seven weeks, he rolled up on stage like, hey everybody, I'm Luciano. And he got up there, he spilled wine on his shirt, he made a shirt for Tim, he called Tim up, he presented the shirt to Tim. And we felt so proud because literally he got invited to walk on the fashion week for Silicon Valley. It was the coolest thing. And that's kind of the whole purpose of this program, right, is to develop these relationships with people and to watch how much you grow over the course of five weeks or seven weeks. And you're really proud of everybody and to see how far they've come and the confidence that they get by the end of the seven weeks, it's pretty cool. You should probably buy one of his shirts too. He'd be happy.